Come quick, come quick. Good morning. Last night we stayed in this Airbnb here in Sarajevo and today we are going to the Bosnian Pyramids which is a little bit north of here. I have no idea what the Bosnian Pyramids are but Momo wanted to go there so let's find out. Welcome to the Great Bosnian Pyramids. Um, down there a little bit, there was this woman sitting there and she said, oh, there's nothing there, it's just a hill, it's just a hill. And we're like, okay, okay. Um, but if you come here, make sure that you're speaking the local language because if you speak English then they might charge you more so we were lucky that we had met another couple um, who told us that before we came so I kind of had to just be quiet and pretend like I understood everything and then we paid less it's a very very steep climb up some stairs, some wooden stairs like these. Let's keep going, see what's up here. It's a nice view, if nothing else. So in 2017, the this section right here was uncovered and they discovered crystal concrete. So it has a high strength and they think because of this discovery that the official height of the Bosnian Pyramid is 270 meters high. It looks weird. So they think that people made the pyramids out of this crystal stuff? Crystal concrete? Yeah. So basically they're saying that this is all man-made concrete slabs here. I just don't buy it. Babe, look at this. Come quick, come quick. It's crazy. What? It's crazy. Look at this. What? <laughs> I'm just not seeing with you. <laughs> It's literally just a hole uh, with a pipe. I don't know what to think of this place. I'm getting some scammy vibes from we just talked to a tour guide and I don't know, he was just saying all of this kind of sounding pseudoscience-y stuff and I wasn't all that convinced. <laughs> Apparently it's gonna take like 10 years for them to excavate everything and but they said that there's a lot of tourists coming here and I think that they have a lot of money coming in from those tourists that they could easily have already done everything that they needed to do. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure, but that's just the top of the hill. We still need to explore the tunnel part. All right, so we just got to the lower part where the tunnels are and straight away I can see that there are a lot more cars and a lot more people here. Might be kind of promising. 
It's going to be 14 degrees in the tunnel, so I'm going to grab my sweater. I see a Texas license plate. Another American out here in Bosnia <laughs> from Texas. I'm gonna go up to the tunnel. If nothing else, it's a nice park. Nice clean park to hang out at. Temperatura ovdje uvijek konstantna, 12 do 13 stepeni, nekako prigodični doba. Cirkulacija zraka je vrlo dobra. Dakle, nećete vidjeti nikakav sistem preletravanja. Nema ventilatora, kao što je trebalo biti u rudnicima, gdje imamo trovni gasova i manje kisika, a zrak sam si gledamo u cirkuši. On je koja je ispunjena zrak, što znači da se ta dva dijela pravila odvojeno i onda su nakredno spojene. Mi kako smo čistili tunele, išli dublje i dublje i nailazili smo na sve veće i veće primjerke blokova. Onaj prvi koji ste vidjeli bio 350 plus strujde, pecka. To je čista fizika, to nije nikakav neobjašnji fenomen. Blok ima svoje elektromagneto polje, a ima ga i naše tijelo. I oni kad dođu ovako blisko kontakt mogu će osjeti to peckanje, strujanje, otprav. To ćete bukvalno osjeti nekad kad privlište dlanove baš blizu. Mi do sad nismo vidjeli da ima neke korelacije sa tim zdravstvenim osmetom. Ljudi, ima puno ljudi koji dođu čisto ovdje u tunela da vidje šta se to ovdje osjeti. Onda ne osjeti ništa pa se malo razočare. Nije to bit tunela. Ljudi se čak počeli sad ovdje isključivo skupljati oko bloka. Nijedno mjesto drugo u tunelu, ne valja samo ovo ovdje. To je bukvalno svatano. Ljudi misli da ako nešto fizički osjeti da tunel djeluje, ako ne osjeti tunel ne djeluje. Pa sam bio više puta svjedok, tipa čovjeka boli ruku. I on dolazi danima ovako ruku koji je na bok. To ga boli noga pa nogu digli. To ga boli glava pa glava ako nastavi. Što nema nikakvog smisla. To bi značilo da samo ovo mjesto je, hajmo reći, pod uslove čeradja. Koja bi to ostalo? Nije. But then they found those blocks. And it doesn't smell like we're in a tunnel, it smells like fresh air. These are so good. My overall thoughts are that it's a tourist scam and not really worth it to come here. <laughs> but we have some nice treats now that we'll have on our way to Konyitz. If you're gonna come here, go to the vending machine and get this pear, ju pear drink. 
It's so good. I've never had any... I don't think I've had like a pear drink like this before. So yummy! But don't come here for anything else. <laughs> the tunnels and the pyramid, I think it's all a scam. I've been sitting in my house.